Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Monday the 23rd of August 2021. Um, uh, today's day is beginner day for Sudoku, uh, Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. Um, it's always the easiest day of the week, very easy. It starts out on Monday, so if you've never played the game before, don't worry, I'll be giving you some instructions on how to play. Uh, what's happening in the world? Difficult to know because my internet has is not working. I've been without the internet this morning. Uh, I managed to download this uh, on my telephone, which is why it looks a bit strange here. This is a screenshot. But, um, it's kind of weird in terms of the uh, I don't know the printing. Um, but what I did notice was uh, rain, 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 rain across the U.S. Terrible. Um, more than 20 people already lost their lives uh, in one st um, storm and another storm is uh, coming. Um, these events are horrific, um, you know, horrible to be, you know, when you're caught in them as well. If you see, you know, your belongings, you know, destroyed in a flood, it's really a nightmare. Or to see people washed away, etc., etc. Terrifying stuff, terrifying stuff. So we wish the people of the U.S. Um, our best. We give them our, send them our best wishes, and hope that uh, they will be safe. Right. Um, so, how do we play this game that we call Sudoku? Well, it's uh, you can see a lot of numbers and a lot of squares, and that's all you can. That's all the game is really: numbers and squares. There are exactly nine squares in each of the rows across, and there are exactly nine squares in each of the rows down. And then in these blocks here segments, boxes, whatever you want to call them, there are also nine squares. Now some are already filled in quite a lot. Look, look, we only have two numbers to get here because we've got one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. So I think you can see now that what's missing from this box has to be five or six, right? Do you agree? One, two, three, four. Is there a five? No. Is there a six? No. Seven? Yes. Eight? Nine. Okay, so we count from one to nine. And that's how we uh, work on solving the puzzle. Now what we need to understand is that the number can appear once only in its row or column or block. So let's have a look at this 5, shall we? Now this 5 is in this row down here and that means that there can't be another 5 along here. Now this 5 is in this block and that means there can't be another 5 in any of these squares. And this 5 is in this column and that means there can't be another 5 in this column. So that means there can't be a 5 there. So if there can't be a 5 there, and the two numbers that we're missing here are 5 and 6, that means 5 has got to go there. And 6 is the last number that we need to complete that particular block here. So that's how we play the game of Sudoku. We just look for clues in that fashion. Okay. The secret is spotting the clues. It's a bit like finding the pieces of a jigsaw uh, from the picture and being able to put them together. So I like to talk about a kind of blocking technique. So what I mean by that is this 7, as I mentioned, can only appear in a column one time. So if you think about this, the 7 kind of blocks down this column here like that. So no 7 there seven blocks down this column here and seven blocks across here so there's only one because it's blocked here blocked here and blocked across here there's only one place where we can put the seven it's got to go there Excuse me. Uh, chair is a bit noisy. Four blocks down here, four blocks up here, so no fours in this column or this column, and then there's a four here and a four here blocking across, and so four has got to go here. <coughs> There is a 2 blocking across this row here, and there is a 2 blocking up here. So we can say the last square is a 2 
and there. Now we can say there's a two across this row, two across this row, and a two up here. So blocked, blocked, and blocked. You see where it has to go? Here, now we'll take that two that we just filled in and say that it blocks down here and there's two blocks down here. So that's the place that we can fill in the two here. And now this two, which is very faded because something with a print, something wrong with the screen grab, screenshot from the iPad, uh, blocks across here and across here and down here and down here. And that gives me a two here. Very old iPad. Uh, I wanted, I was, uh, I couldn't work um, this morning. Um, because my internet uh, is down, so I thought maybe I'll try to download the app on my iPad and use it over mobile connection, but my iPhone is so old, it says, no way can you download this app, <laughs> get into the modern world, it's really a very old machine, unfortunately. Uh, right. Now we have nine blocking across here, nine blocking across here, so out and out and then down here, the nine blocking off here. So we can see that's a nine here. Now this one blocks down here, so that gives us a one in that square there. Now this is a new, something a bit new uh, for you beginners. Um, let's see what numbers are missing in this row. Okay, we'll count through. We have one, two, we don't have three, four, five, we don't have six, seven, we don't have eight, we have a nine. So did you remember that? So it's three, six, and eight that are the missing numbers from this row because there are three empty squares. Three, six, and eight have to go in these three squares, okay? Now if you look up here, you'll see that an 8 blocks this from being an 8, and a 6 blocks this from being a 6. So if it's not 8 and it's not 6, what must it be? Yes, that's right. It has to be a 3, because it's not the 6 and it's not the 8. Now that means that we have 6 and 8 to go in these two squares, but look, we can't really tell what they are yet, but that's okay. We just forget about it. No, tell a lie. We don't forget about it, we keep it in the back of our minds. And we, but we leave it and we look for something else because that's not very productive looking in that location just yet. Now I'm also going to show you how we often look ahead in this game, uh, imagining uh, what will happen after scenario. So what do I mean by that? Okay. We can see this 4 blocks up this column, right? So there's no 4 up here. And we can see this 4 at the end blocks across this row. So imagine my blocking pattern, blocked and blocked. So what's left? Two squares here and here, right? Now, can we tell which is which? No, we can't. We don't know which one of these is a 4, but we do know that one of them is a 4. Now, if we know that 4 is either here or it's here, we at least know that it's limited to this row. So if whether it appears here or here is not important, but what we can say is it blocks across this row. So this top row is now blocked, okay? Now if we look down here, we see a four blocking up here and a four blocking up here, this one, this one. So there is still only one square left because it's now blocked across the top, blocked from here and blocked from here, okay? And that's what you'll need to do as you move on to the more difficult stuff, but if that was a bit difficult for you, looking a couple of steps ahead, don't worry too much. Uh, you normally don't need to do it in the easy level puzzles, but I wanted to show you something that you might not have seen before just yet anyway, so. Okay, we have a nine blocking up here, nine blocking down here, and a nine blocking across. I don't know if you hear this bird tweeting. It's pretty loud though. Obviously it's, not a Obviously it's not a Sudoku fan. Nine blocking up here, nine blocking across here, nine blocking across here. That's gonna give me a nine. 
here. And now we have this nine blocking up here, this nine blocking up here, and this nine blocking across here. No, no, and no. So that gives us a nine in that square there. And now we can take that nine and say, bring it across this row blocking up here and this nine blocking here. So there's only one square left. We know the nine goes here. Now here's something that you see often, uh, especially as you get towards the end <coughs> of the game, excuse me. There's only one square uh, left to get in this column. So we can just count through and see what it is. Do we have a one? Guess what? No, we don't. If you want to check that everything is still there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can see that's a one. Okay. Now that's one way of looking at it. You could also have done this. You could have said this one blocks up here and this one blocks up here. So blocked and blocked. So the one goes there. Now this is very true in Sudoku that there is often more than one way to find the same number. Okay. Now one blocks across here, one blocks across here. And this gives us a one in this square here. seven blocks across this row now and that gives us a seven there now there's a bird competition you probably can't hear one because it's too quiet but there are a couple of them with different singing patterns So we would look at this and say, what are the missing numbers three and eight, either from this block or from this row. But actually, we can't do anything about it because we don't know what, what, uh, which is which. So we, again, we just have to leave it, keep it, bear it in mind and come back to it later. Now, let's do our three number trick again, three empty squares. Let's look at this row here and decide what's missing. Do we have a one? No. Two, three, four. Do we have a five? No. Six? No. And that's it. So seven, eight, nine. Right. So what's missing? One, five, and six are the three numbers that must appear in these three squares to finish this row, one, five, and six. Now if you look, especially if you look at this square, and you look down here and you look up here, you'll see a one in this column already, and a five in this column already. So if it's not one, and it's not five because it can't be, then it has to be six, which is our third number. So we're getting there slowly. You see how it's filling out, the chart is filling out um, bit by bit. Uh, much like if you had a regular jigsaw and you've, you know, you create a mass, you've put several pieces together. And also like a jigsaw that you may create several different masses like islands or something which will later be joined together well sudoku is kind of similar to that actually not that i play puzzles uh, uh, jigsaw puzzles <laughs> at all but um you know just trying to make some kind of uh, comparison uh, right now this column down here uh we are two numbers missing two squ two numbers missing and what are they one two is there a three no four five six seven is there an eight no so this square and this square have to be either 3 or 8 because that's what's missing for this column. And I think you can see that this 8 says that can't be an 8. So the 8 will be placed down here and the 3, which is the last number, has to go there. Now we can say 3 across this row, 3 across this row and 3 blocking here. And that will give us a 3 there. Um, the thing is, you have to kind of keep keep your eye moving around, as it were. Um, no good getting stuck in one place for too long. All 
Okay, let's look at this row across here and let's do our three empty space trick again. So what's missing? Is there a one? No. Two, three, four, five, six. Is there a seven? No. Is there an eight? No, there's a nine. So one, seven, and eight are the three numbers that must go in these three squares. Well, look here, here's a one that says, you can't be a one. Here's a seven that says, no way is a seven going here. And so that's got to be an eight. Now, we also take this one and seven because we haven't finished yet, because we also see now that a seven is blocking this square. Now, we only have two numbers left now, one or seven. So the seven can't go here, so the seven has to go here and the one has to go there like that. Uh, we've almost finished the game now, believe it or not. Um, when you see this much, uh, when you get some experience at Sudoku and you see this much of a puzzle solved, you know that you probably now have enough to finish the game fairly quickly. Um, it seems like there's a large amount of it. Uh, this is not true at high level though. This is true for easy level games, but not true at high level puzzles. But for this particular puzzle, I'm pretty sure it's nearly finished. In other words, the rest of it is easy. So one blocking down here, one blocking down here, and one blocking across here. It's going to give me a one in that location there. Four blocking across here, and four blocking down here gives me a four in this square here. Now there's only one number to get up here, one, two, three, four, it's a five we don't have. So the five goes here, six, seven, eight, nine, if you want to just check that you didn't make a mistake, and that's a good idea when it comes to Sudoku. This five blocks up this column here, so there's just one square left. Five has to go here like this. Um, right, where are we? Now, one of the, if you, I don't know if you can remember, earlier on we did discuss this and what numbers were missing. But actually what's missing now is a 1 and 5 for this row here. But here's a 1 that says, or here, either way, this one or this one says, this can't be a 1. So we know that 1 has to go there. And the last number that we need for this row is a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, no 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 5 goes there. There's just one number to get in this block here, so that's where we look next. Uh, it's a five, in fact. So, and if you're not sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Don't worry, your counting will get faster as you play the game more. Five blocking down here, so that gives us a five in the square here. Now five across here, five across here, that gives us the five that we can fit there. Uh, the th missing numbers up here were 3 and 8. Well, I say were, using the past tense, I mean they are 3 and 8, still are. And this 8 says that that can't be an 8. So 8 has to go here, and 3 has to go here like this. Uh, the missing numbers from here are 3 and 6. Well, we have a 6 blocking here. So the 6 has got to go there, and the 3 has got to go there. Now this 3 up here blocks across here, and a 3 blocks up here. So it's just one place to get. Do you see why I said it was going to be easy now from that point on? Nothing really tricky after. The last number in this row is in fact a 7, or you could say 7 blocking across here. Same thing. 7 goes here. 7 stops that from being a 7. So 7 goes here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is a 6. We need a 6 for this block, so that can't be a 6. So 6 has got to go there. And the last number that we need here is an 8. The last number in this row across is a 6. You'll take my word for it, or you can, if you don't believe me, you can just pause the video and count through. But uh, I, I promise you it is 6 blocking across here, that's a 6 there. This is a 3, it's the last number that we need here. This 3 blocks this from being a 3. So 3 goes here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's an 
8, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So either way you look at it, you get the same result. Uh, we need a 4 for this block up here, but this 4 says that can't be a 4, so 4 goes here. There's just one number to finish the puzzle. It is, in fact, an 8. And now we check our puzzle. Uh, when we finish, uh, if you're doing it on pen and paper, you should check it. If you're doing it on the computer, usually the computer will check it for you. And something will happen at the end, like we'll say congratulations or whatever. Uh, if you're doing it on pen and paper, then you need to check it yourself to make sure you haven't made a mistake. Now, I occasionally make mistakes. It can happen, even though I've been playing for many years. Still, sometimes I can make a mistake when playing on pen and paper. So, um, you know, but this is a... a uh, you know, a, a, a way into Sudoku, a nice easy game for you to start. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you click, usually you'll find uh, um, lots of easy puzzles uh, in on my channel. Uh, every Monday in The Guardian they have Beginner's Day, and there's also is lots of other easy puzzles there. So please subscribe to the channel, uh, enjoy life, enjoy Sudoku, Enjoy your internet connection if you've got one while well, it's there. I don't, I'm going to call the company now and see if I can get back online because being without the internet is most frustrating in 2021. Okay, thank you, and uh, hope to see you again. Bye-bye.